So as we begin our exploration of algebraic operations with rational expressions, we need to begin by determining how we can find the restrictive values for these rational expressions. Now, to get us started, let's recall that a rational expression is simply a ratio of two polynomials. So we define a rational expression as the ratio of two polynomials, p of x by q of x. So p of x and q of x are polynomials, and we need to be careful here that the denominator, q of x, cannot be equal to zero. And we know that this denominator cannot be equal to zero because division by zero is undefined. So it's up to us to make sure and make note of any values that must be excluded from this function. So let's consider the following example to clarify. So in this example, we are being asked to determine the restricted value or values for the expression x plus 3 by x cubed minus x. So in order to determine the restricted values for this expression, we are going to set our denominator at the bottom of this expression not equal to zero and solve for x by factoring. So here we have x cubed minus x cannot be equal to zero. And looking for a greatest common factor, we can see that both terms have a greatest common factor of x, leaving us with x times x squared minus one cannot be equal to zero. And lo and behold, this binomial is a difference of squares. So we can further factor this to the expression x times x minus 1 times x plus 1 cannot be equal to 0. So we can now consider each one of these factors said not equal to 0 to find the restrictions. So in solving each one of these cases for x, we can see that x could be any real number except 0, negative 1, or 1. So being able to identify these restrictions for rational expressions is going to be important throughout this algebraic process.